Hello and welcome to this Python for Automation tutorial with me, James from Matador Software, where we're going to be looking at automating our battery percentage and creating notifications using Python. So quite an exciting topic. We're going to get to create our own custom notifications, use some user input, and we're also going to manage to um, manipulate our system, our PC, our laptop, our Mac, all from within quite a simple Python script where we're not using classes or objects where we're going to be using a while loop um, predominantly and variables. So previously I've covered doing this in Atom, you know, you could do Sublime Text, VS Code, whatever you like, Jupyter Notebooks. I've chosen the IDLE today because for beginners, this should come pre-installed and you can get it from your taskbar. So you could simply open up the Python IDLE you're welcomed with the shell and when we click a new file we get two um, simultaneous sheets where the the shells going to actually run our program and we can write our script um, within this file on the right so the first thing we need to do is install these packages these libraries these dependencies so um, we need to pip install pyes util if you haven't before and pip install plier if you haven't, um, we use time as well. We import that, but that comes as standard with Python. So as you can see here, when we import psutil, we can retrieve info on running processes and system utilization. That's what it's for. Um, and from Plier, we need to import notification for a notification. So it helps us access hardware and platform features and we can import time. So the first thing we do, we create a user input variable where we say the frequency is equal to the input um, so I'm going to say how often you would like to be notified because this system, these notifications are going to work on a frequency of the percentage change. So I'll wrap that in an integer. Next, I declare two variables, battery and percent, where they're um, running off the sensors underscore battery function. And we can take the battery percent and assign that to the percent variable. And how this all works is going to become clear very soon. So then we're going to actually use a while loop to calculate the current battery and then we're going to look at notifications. So we say while true and the battery is equal to that sensors.battery so we can get our, our current um, battery status and then we can get the current percent in the next variable and make that equal to the battery.percent. And then the change is actually just the current percent minus that percent that we declared above. So we, you know, we go through the loop and we're going to constantly have the current battery percent and we're going to minus the, the percent um, as it stands. And then we need a difference. So that's just change um, the variable that we have before, but we wrap it in an absolute function because, of course, that difference is simply the current percent minus the percent. That's fine. But absolute means this uh, this involves the negative values and the positives. So when the value is decreasing or increasing with, with your charge. And then within this while loop, we say if the difference is greater or equal than the frequency, as you can see above that the user has specified, then we send a notification and we can choose the title within a string format. So I'm just gonna say the current battery percentage and I want the message again to be wrapped in string and that can be the current percent. So we've got that variable declared there. Um, and then we say, you know, we add text, append it on and the percent of battery remaining. And then we do a timeout to finish sort of round out this while loop. So we say a timeout, I'm just saying five, gives us five seconds for the loop to do what it does to run. Um, if not, we'll, we'll have a timeout. And then from here on, we can just again say the percents we need to reevaluate this at the end of the loop is equal to the current battery percentage. And that means that we're going to get an accurate difference. And then we can select continue. So we can run this now with an idle. And on the left, it will run in our shell. I'm going to say we want to be notified every 1% for the sake of time. Um, you can see I've got an error here. I thought important to include this because you know, we all have errors in our code. So you can see that instead of where it says battery is equal, um, I've got sensors dot battery. So if you've been following along with me after the while true loop, that needs to be underscore battery. 
as it is underneath the frequency variable. So I'll correct that. And when I run it again, and if you follow along, it has been quick, feel free to slow it down and you can correct that. And there we go. We can say we want to be notified every 1%. Now we could modify and say this every 5% or when it's under 20% and so on. Um, but yeah, 1% is fine for this illustration and you're in control of that. And the great thing is the user's in control through this user input. So if we, uh, if we wait around just a brief period of time, we will see that we will get a nice notification and it will reflect the title and the message that we've given it and the current system battery percentage. So it's a really nice way to utilize and really control um, in an automated fashion with a nice bit of input our system uh, and see what's happening. So as you can see, we get a nice notification pop up in the bottom right um, of the of the screen um, with again the title current battery percentage and the message is saying 60% the current string and then battery remaining and then you're going to see it do it again when it hits 59% because we specified that frequency interval as 1% you know and I said it's within your control so to go over this code again um, nice logical flow we import our packages we create some variables, a nice input with the frequency, and we go through a while loop where we declare the battery um, with the, the PSUtil can go in and access that. The current percent is the battery percent. The change is equal to current percent minus that percent that's going to be reflected after each percent uh, point drop and the difference. And then we say basically if that difference is greater or equal to the frequency that the user inputted, will display a notification as and when the battery and the system allow. It was also nice being able to use the ID, the, the Python IDLE that comes with your Python download. So feel free to look into that. Um, in the future, we'll probably use Atom. That's my preference. Um, but you can feel free to use whatever you like. But yeah, it's, it's handy. It does the job. It doesn't have some of the more advanced and IntelliSense feature. Um, but yeah, another extra to sort of showcase here. As usual, if you like this tutorial, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.